Hello, this is Daniel with Boss C351 Productions. Today I want to show you uh, my oil catch can system for my 2013 Ford F-150 EcoBoost. I put this system together myself. Uh, some of the components are off of eBay, some are from the parts store. Uh, I made this system because the EcoBoost engines are notorious for catching a whole lot of oil in the system the uh, intercooler and it likes to collect down in the bottom of the intercooler causing problems you could uh, hydrolock your engine if you get enough in there when you go to wide, wide open throttle uh, what I've done I've ordered a couple of catch cans off of eBay and Amazon they're just little Chinese made catch cans hold a pretty good amount of fluid And I have purchased a half inch ID rubber hose to route them where they go. Now I've had to do a little little trickery in the mounting. Uh, see how the the back side is mounted. You'll have to do that to use these particular catch cans, but there are other options available on eBay. Let me get this cover off and I'll show you where I have attached them. Okay, I've got the engine cover off. Let's start with the passenger side. You can see where the hose is run. One goes here to the intake, the other goes here to the valve cover. Now I reused the original uh, quick disconnects Ford gave me. What I did, I heated up the hard plastic lines that connect here. Uh, you can use a heat gun. I used a candle just to heat them up, just hot enough that the plastic would expand when I pulled on the end of the connector. Just gotta be careful, don't melt your original plastic uh, hosing. So you wanna be able to put it back just in case you you know sell the vehicle or emissions or whatever. Also, I've got a half inch one-way valve in here and you can see which way the valve is pointing. You do not want, when your turbo kicks in, you do not want air blowing back this way into your catch can system. When your intake pressurizes, that will happen. So you gotta put a one-way valve here. Also, you wanna, you wanna put hose clamps here so you don't blow the hose off when you, when you get boost on your turbo. The driver's side is pretty much the same. <clears throat> you connect down there that quick disconnect down here that is the tube going to the air filter it's got suction on it so no hose clamps are required the whole thing has constant suction that's the other end where I connected it to the valve cover and what you're doing so so when you without this system when you get suction you know from the turbo sucking in air from the air filter it likes to suck air or suck oil out of the valve cover and when it does that it goes into your tube goes down to your turbo through your turbo and also goes down to your intercooler and that's where it collects and that's going to cause lots of problems now, i've seen people drill holes into their intercoolers and i'm not going to do that that it just makes an oily mess constant oily mess uh, i think your best bet is to put this system on and then take your intercooler off, dump it out, clean it out real good, and these catch cans will catch the majority of the oil, the oil vapor, the moisture, the you know the general crud that normally circulates through the system, and that's what you what you want. All right, got the catch cans off. This is what the dirty side looks like. See all that crap, mixture of gas, oil moisture no telling what else and this is the clean side of the driver's side and you see there that's a bunch of crap there so i put this can on a week ago so if i didn't have it on there all that crap would be down to my turbos and my intercooler so this is why you want to get a catch can system and put it on your eco boost uh, whatever 
no matter what vehicle it is uh, truck mustang whatever you need to get your catch can system and put it on your vehicle now there's several out there available there's one for four hundred dollars which is you know astronomically ridiculous um, requires you to modify and drill holes and stuff that I, i'll never drill holes in my original you know tubes and everything there's some out there for 140 dollars per side and uh that too is ridiculous i mean i paid 28 dollars per can probably 12 dollars for hose about six dollars for that one-way valve and that's it that's all i'm out of so it's a whole lot cheaper if you go ahead and do it yourself just make sure you get a catch can that is sealed doesn't have a hole in it and all you need is a, a two port catch cans no three port no no fancy crap on them no gauges no no uh air filter that fits on top of them just a simple catch can and they make them with all different kind of filter filters on the inside uh, you can do that if you want to if you feel feel better about it mine just you know basically dumps off into the cans and circulates and goes it goes on so again this is daniel with boss c351 productions offering you a glimpse of my 2013 f-150 eco boost i appreciate you watching my videos any questions comment below thank you